In this video, we are going to let you know an update on DSC, a final rule. Visit us a certain feature and the questions to see how best we can help you out with your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get into the video. On Monday, October 31, 2022, the Department of Homeland Security's final rule to preserve and fortify deferred action for childhood arrivals went into effect. The final rule's implementation means that DSC is now based on a formal regulation, thereby preserving and fortifying the program while the program remains the subject of litigation in court. Previously, DSC was based on a policy memorandum that then DH, as Secretary Janet Napolitano issued on August 15, 2012. Since its inception in, in 2012, DSC has allowed over 800,000 young people to remain with their families in the only country many of them have ever known and continue to contribute to their communities in the United States. Under the final rule, USCIS will continue to accept and process applications for deferred action, work authorization, and advanced parole for current DSC recipients. Due to ongoing litigation, USCIS will continue to accept but cannot process initial DSC a request. This final rule is our effort to preserve and fortify DSC to the fullest extent possible said Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas. Implementation of the DSC a final rule illustrates USCIS's continued commitment to DREAMers, said U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services Director Orem Jadu. The final rule is a product of careful review that considered the more than 16,000 comments received during the public comment period. It codifies existing DSC a policy, with limited changes, and replaces the guidance set forth in the 2012 Napolitano Memorandum. The final rule affirms that current DSC recipients deferred action, employment authorization, and advanced parole will continue to be recognized as valid under the final rule. DSC is not a form of lawful status, but DSC recipients are considered lawfully present for certain purposes. Non-citizens who meet eligibility criteria clear all national security and public safety vetting and are found to merit a favorable exercise of discretion may be granted deferred action and obtain renewable two-year work authorization. On October 5, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit affirmed a July 2021 decision of the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Texas declaring the 2012 DSCA policy unlawful. The Fifth Circuit, however, preserved the partial stay issued by the district court in July 2021 and remanded the case back to the district court for further proceedings regarding the new DSC rule. On October 14, the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Texas issued an order extending its injunction and partial stay of the DSC a final rule. Current grants of DSC and related employment authorization documents are valid, and USCIS will accept and process renewal DSC request an accompanying request for employment authorization under the final rule. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people will want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!